Hello, my name is Michelle Boyd and I'm from Wednesday Night Supper Club. We're going to start off with our recipe which is buffalo chicken calzones with blue cheese sauce by doing the blue cheese sauce. So we've got 100 grams of mayonnaise, we just pop that in. You can make your own mayonnaise quickly and simply in the Thermomix. It's really simple to use and you know exactly what's in there with all the ingredients, no additives and preservatives. We've got 120 grams of sour cream, 75 grams of milk, 80 grams of blue cheese. Now you can adjust that according to what you like. You can go anywhere between 60 and 100 grams. And then we've got two pinches of black pepper. So we're just gonna give that a whiz. And we're gonna go 10 seconds. And speed four. Job done. So we're good to go with our uh, sauce. So I'll just pour it into to the jug. making sure we get every last scrap, don't want to waste it. And that's as simple as it is. So now onto our filling. So we've been past the supermarket or the takeaway shop and picked up our barbecue chicken and I've just shredded that off of the bones there. We're going to pop that in. You could do this by hand, you could get two, uh, two forks and do some hand shredding, but we've got to use the Thermomix, we'll do that there. So we put our chicken in, and then we're just gonna shred that by going for five seconds, reverse speed four. Give it a stir. So there's our shredded chicken there. So we're just gonna add our other ingredients. We have got some hot rib sauce, some buffalo hot rib sauce. we have got 250 grams of cream cheese. Now that's at room temperature, it's been out for a little while. And then we have got some uh, yogurt that we'll put in there. So we'll give that a stir around in the thermo mix. So again, we'll go about say 10 seconds, reverse speed four and see what that does. All right, so now we'll just put that back into our bowl that the chicken came from. We'll add in some diced red capsicum, 100 grams of corn, and 100 grams of red kidney beans. And we'll just fold that in. So now we're up to our pizza part. We've got some pizza dough that I've made here earlier. You can always buy that at supermarkets or bakeries. We want to divide that into four to make four calzones. So take one, so take one section and we'll just put the other aside. And then we're gonna roll that out to a approximately 28 centimeter circle. So we've got a rolling pin, flour that. So there we go, that's pretty close. Uh, it's circular-ish shape. So now what we do is we grab our cheese, our just grated mozzarella cheese. We put some of that down, just on half. So now we take our filling and we're going to put a couple of spoonfuls on top of our grated cheese. Yep, just like that. And then what we do is we take the other half of the dough, fold it over and then press down to make sure that it's joined. And then we're going to just roll it over and 
kind of crimp it. So crimping away. Now if you made lots of Chinese dumplings, you would know exactly how to do that. And at the end, we just make sure it's all good to go, sealed, looks pretty. Then we take our baking tray, which has already been lined with some baking paper. And then we put our dough on there, grab a knife. And you wanna make three slits at the top to let the steam escape. Then we're gonna grab our oil, some nice extra virgin olive oil, and give that a brush to make them all nice and golden, golden brown and delicious is what my TAFE lecturer always used to tell me that you wanted all your uh, patisserie goods to be. And then that's one done, only three more to go. So now that uh, 20 minutes is up, they're golden brown and delicious. Grab them out the oven. And there we have our buffalo chicken calzones with our blue cheese sauce. So we're going to drizzle that on. Delicious.